In the realm of fitness, where new fads and trends constantly emerge, the timeless bodyweight squat remains a tried and true exercise for anyone seeking to improve their health and strength. Often overlooked in favor of more complex exercises or shiny gym equipment, the humble bodyweight squat is a versatile and highly effective exercise that offers a wide array of benefits. Get ready as we will explore the science behind bodyweight squats and highlight the numerous advantages they offer. You may be surprised at just how many benefits this seemingly simple exercise has to offer for anyone looking to increase their overall health. Be sure to stick around because we are also going to cover what you need to know to properly perform the squat exercise to help you achieve a heightened level of fitness. Plus, we will address the question of whether performing squats daily is advisable and provide recommendations on the ideal number of repetitions for achieving optimal results. Bodyweight squats are a fundamental exercise that involves bending your knees and hips to lower your body toward the ground and then returning to a standing position. They require no equipment and are a simple yet powerful way to work various muscle groups simultaneously. Here are some of the key benefits of incorporating bodyweight squats into your fitness routine. Number one is squats strengthens lower body muscles. It should come as no surprise that one of the primary benefits of bodyweight squats is their ability to strengthen the muscles in your lower body. When you perform a squat, you engage your quadriceps, hamstrings, glutes, and calves. The motion places tension on these muscle groups, stimulating growth and improved muscle tone. This strength can translate to better athletic performance, enhanced balance, and reduced risk of injury in daily activities. Number two is squats build core strength. While squats are primarily associated with leg strength, they also require a strong and stable core. As you perform a squat, your core muscles engage to maintain balance and proper posture. This engagement leads to increased core strength, which is essential for overall stability and functional fitness. The third benefit of performing squats is they enhance joint health. Squatting involves a full range of motion for the hips, knees, and ankles. This range of motion helps to lubricate the joints, improve flexibility, and maintain joint health. It can be especially beneficial for individuals who sit for extended periods as it counteracts the negative effects of prolonged sedentary behavior on joint health. Number four is squats can help improve bone density. Aging is associated with a gradual decrease in bone density, which can lead to conditions like osteoporosis and an increased possibility of fractures. Squats are a weight-bearing exercise that places stress on the bones, which causes them to adapt and increase their density. This helps to maintain and even enhance bone density, reducing the risk of sustaining fractures and improving bone health. Number five burns calories and aids in weight management. Body weight squats are a compound exercise, meaning they engage multiple muscle groups simultaneously. This makes them an excellent choice for burning calories and promoting weight loss. The more muscle mass you engage, the more calories you burn during and after the exercise. As a result, Squats can be a valuable addition to a weight management plan. Number six is squats are a very functional exercise. Squats mimic movements we perform in our daily lives, such as bending down to pick up objects, sitting and standing from a chair, or getting in and out of a car. By practicing squats regularly, you improve your functional fitness and make these activities easier and less strenuous. The seventh benefit of squats is they require no equipment. Bodyweight squats can be performed virtually anywhere without the need for any equipment. This accessibility makes them a convenient exercise choice for those who cannot access a gym or prefer to work out at home or in outdoor settings. Number eight is improved posture. Engaging in proper squat form reinforces good posture habits. This can help alleviate back pain and improve overall posture by strengthening the muscles responsible for maintaining an upright stance. Number nine is performing squats will improve your balance. Squats challenge the body's balance and proprioception, which is the awareness of one's body in space. When you perform squats, you challenge your proprioceptive system by moving through a full range of motion and shifting your body's center of gravity. This practice enhances your body's proprioceptive abilities, making you more aware of your body's position and movement, ultimately improving balance. In addition, Squats primarily target the muscles of the lower body, which play a pivotal role in maintaining balance and stability while standing and moving. Strengthening these muscle groups through squats can help you better control your movements and prevent wobbling or stumbling. Also, squats require a stable ankle joint to support your body weight, 
The muscles and ligaments around the ankle are engaged to provide support and stability during the exercise. This helps improve ankle stability and can reduce the risk of ankle injuries, which are even more common as people age. It's also important to remember that when you perform a squat, your core muscles, including the abdominal muscles and lower back muscles, are actively engaged to stabilize your spine and pelvis. A strong and stable core is fundamental for maintaining balance as it connects the upper and lower body and supports proper posture. Number 10 is metabolic benefits. Squats are a high intensity exercise that can boost the metabolism, helping to maintain a healthy body weight. This can reduce the risk of chronic diseases like type 2 diabetes and cardiovascular conditions. Number 11 is enhanced flexibility. While squats primarily strengthen muscles, they also promote flexibility in the hips, knees, and ankles. A deeper squat can lead to increased flexibility in these areas, improving mobility in daily activities and reducing the risk of injuries. Benefit number 12 is squats can help enhance digestion. Squats can stimulate the abdominal muscles and the muscles around the digestive organs. This can help improve digestion and alleviate issues like constipation, as the squatting motion mimics the natural posture for bowel movements. In some cultures, squatting toilets are still common for this very reason. Number 13 is better circulation. Squats stimulate blood flow, especially in the lower body. This can help reduce the risk of circulatory issues such as varicose veins and promote overall cardiovascular health. Number 14 is enhanced athletic performance. Squats are not only useful for building leg strength, but can also improve explosive power. Athletes often incorporate squat variations into their training to boost their vertical jump, making it a useful exercise for sports like basketball, volleyball, and sprinting. Performing a bodyweight squat properly involves several steps to ensure proper form and prevent injury. Following are some step-by-step -step instructions for performing the basic squat. Start by standing up straight with your feet about hip width apart. Your toes should be pointing slightly outward and your weight should be evenly distributed across both feet. Before you begin the squat, engage your core muscles by pulling your belly button toward your spine. This will help stabilize your torso during the movement. Begin the squat by hinging at your hips. Push your hips to the back as if you're sitting in a chair. Maintain a raised chest and keep your back straight as you do this. As you continue to push your hips back, start to bend your knees. Make sure your knees and toes are in alignment. Your goal is to lower your body while maintaining a neutral spine. Keep lowering your body until your thighs are parallel to the ground or as low as your range of motion and flexibility will allow while avoiding having any roundness in your lower back. It's essential to maintain a natural arch in your lower back through the entire movement. Check that your knees are still in line with your toes and your weight is on your heels. Your chest should remain up and your head should be in a neutral position looking straight ahead. To return to the initial starting position, push through your heels and engage your glutes and quadriceps to stand up. Keep your back straight and chest up as you do this. As with any exercise, the number of recommended repetitions will vary based on your level of fitness. Perform the squat for your desired number of repetitions. Make sure to maintain proper form during the entire set. Here are some additional tips for performing bodyweight squats correctly. Keep your feet flat on the ground throughout the entire exercise. Avoid letting your knees collapse inward. Try to keep them in line with your toes. Focus on a controlled and deliberate pace rather than rushing through the exercise. Practice proper breathing by inhaling as you lower into the squat and exhaling as you rise. Start with a shallow range of motion if you're new to squats and gradually work on increasing depth as your flexibility and strength improve. The recommended number of repetitions for bodyweight squats can vary depending on your fitness level, goals, and the specific workout routine you're following. Here are some general guidelines for different fitness levels. If you're new to exercise or bodyweight squats, start with 10 to 15 repetitions per set. Perform two to three sets with a one to two minute rest between each set. Focus on proper form and gradually increase the number of repetitions as you become more comfortable and stronger. For individuals with some experience in strength training, aim for 15 to 20 repetitions per set. Perform three to four sets with a one to two minute rest between each set. You can also incorporate variations like single leg squats or jump squats for an added challenge. Advanced individuals can do 20 or more repetitions per set. Perform four to five sets with a one to two minute rest between each set. To increase intensity, you can incorporate explosive or plyometric squats or hold weights for added resistance. Keep in mind that the number of repetitions can also vary depending on your specific fitness goals. 
For strength and muscle building, you might use lower repetitions with added resistance by using heavier weights. While for endurance and toning, you may opt for higher repetitions with body weight only. It's important to listen to your body and adjust your repetitions accordingly. As you become more advanced, you can further tailor your squat routine to your specific goals and preferences. Always prioritize proper form and gradually progress to prevent injury and ensure continued improvement. Bodyweight squats are a relatively low impact exercise, and for many people, they can be performed daily or nearly daily. However, whether you should do bodyweight squats every day depends on several factors, including your fitness level, goals, and overall workout routine. Here are some considerations. Number one is fitness level. If you are new to squats or have recently started a workout routine, it's generally not recommended to perform bodyweight squats every day. Your muscles need time to recover, especially when you're beginning. Start with two to three days a week and gradually increase the frequency as your body adapts. Number two is goals. Your fitness goals play a significant role in determining how often you should do bodyweight squats. If your goal is to build strength or muscle, you may want to incorporate rest days between squat workouts to allow for muscle recovery. If your goal is more focused on endurance and toning, you can perform bodyweight squats more frequently. Number three is other exercises. Consider your overall workout routine. If you're engaging in a variety of exercises that target different muscle groups, it's less likely that you'd need to do bodyweight squats every day. Give your muscles time to recover by rotating different exercises on different days. Number four is listen to your body. Pay attention to how your body feels. If you experience excessive soreness, fatigue, or discomfort, it's a sign that you may be overtraining. Rest is essential for recovery and preventing injury. Number five is incorporate rest days. Regardless of your fitness level or goals, incorporating rest days into your workout routine is essential. Rest days allow your muscles and joints to recover, reduce the risk of overuse injuries, and help prevent burnout. If you want to do bodyweight squats more frequently or every day, you can vary the intensity and volume. For example, on some days, focus on higher repetitions with less intensity, while on other days, you can increase the intensity or add variations like jump squats or single leg squats for a different challenge. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content on health and fitness. Now check out one of our other videos. Thank you for watching.